Hi, my name is Connie Kaplanis and you're watching the video on the Ford Doctor PRISM test. This is an instructional video directed towards orthoptic students on how to perform the Ford PRISM Doctor test. A Ford PRISM Doctor test is used to confirm the presence of a suspected microtropia by assessing motor fusion objectively and is determined by the presence or absence of binocular single vision. We use a four diopter prism because it is the smallest prism where you can comfortably see the eye movement or reflex. A base out prism is used for micro esotropias and a base in for micro exotropias. A microtropia is a small angle manifest deviation of less than 10 prism diopters, which is why it is easy to miss on cover test. A failed response means that a patient has one of the following. A microtropia with central suppression, microtropia with no central suppression but with extended fusional areas, or monofixation syndrome, which is an isometropia with central suppression but no microtropia. We can further classify microtropia into two categories, with identity, when no movement is found on cover test, or without identity, when movement is found on cover test. When performing the four prism doctor test, a normal response is when you put the prism in front of either eye. The contractual eye should make a conjugate movement out, resulting in diplopia, which then drives the movement back in to take up bifoveal fixation. For clinical assessments, you will need a fixation target for when the test is performed at near, a four diopter prism, and bright lighting conditions. Hey, my name is Anne Marie. I'll be your doctor for today. Just going to be running a few routine checks on your eyes. Um, is that okay? Yep. Patient 1 has come in for a routine checkup. On cover test, we found a small left esotropia near and far not holding fixation, measuring to be 6 prism diopters. She failed the laying and we found a central scotoma on Bagolini striated glasses test. Just going to get you to look the top letter over here for me. When we place the prism on the deviating eye, you will see no movement from either eye. We don't see movement here as the prism just moves the image onto the suppression scotoma. Therefore, there is no drive for the other eye to make that conjugate movement. When we put the prism on the non-deviating eye, you should see the eye under the prism move in and the conjugate movement of the other eye moving out. You won't see the conjugate eye moving back in to retake fixation as the image has now fallen on the scotoma. Patient 1 has a microtropia without identity as a movement was noted on cover test. As there was a gap noted on the Bagolini striated glasses test, we can conclude that she failed the four prism doctor test due to a central scotoma. Hi Monica, my name is Anne Marie. I'll be the orthoptist for today. Just going to be running a few routine checks, if that's okay with you. Sure. Patient 2 has come in for a routine checkup. On cover test, a small esophoria near and far with rapid recovery was found, measuring to be four prism doctors. She failed the lang and a cross was noted on the Bagolini striated glasses test, indicating binocular single vision. Can you just focus on the top letter for me here, please? Sure, thank you. When the prism is placed over the deviating eye, you will see no movement from either eye. We don't see a movement here as the prism has moved the image onto the extended panorama's fusional area. Therefore, there is no drive for the other eye to make that conjugate movement. When we put the prism on the non-deviating eye, you should see the eye under the prism move in and the conjugate movement of the other eye moving out. You won't see the conjugate eye moving back in to retake fixation as the image has now fallen on extensions of Panem's fusional area. Patient 2 has a microtropia with identity, as no movement was noted on cover test. She saw a cross on Bagolini striated glasses test, which indicates extensions of Panem's fusional area, resulting in a failed response. There are alternative ways to record for the four prism doctor test. 
For a normal response, you can write a negative for microtropia or BSV to show that the patient has passed. A failed response can be recorded as positive for whichever eye that was found to have a microtropia or the reason behind the microtropia, for example, suppression. Okay, that brings us to the conclusion of this video. Thank you for watching. Your eyes are just slightly, just a tiny bit deviated. What do you mean deviated? It's nothing to worry about, Fifi. Oh, I just want you to calm down. What's happening to me? I just really need you to calm down. It's, it's not a problem at all. In fact, your eyes are functioning pretty well. Really? Even though you've got a microtropia, which is okay.